this is an amazing story. I'm here with Jared and his mother, Lisa, and they're from Arizona. And Jared was diagnosed with cancer at 16. Jared, I'm going to give the microphone to you. Just tell your story. Well, I was born with a, um, a rare heart defect called hypoplastic left heart. And then I was pretty much healthy up until last July. And then I found out I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. And so I did one round of chemo, but then the, uh, the, um, the side effects were so severe that I stopped and I um, did a natural alternative routes. And what did you do with natural alternatives? Um, I choose all raw um, organic vegetables and fruits. I eat all organic. I do the infrared sauna every day. I take multiple supplements and vitamins. And exercise, yeah, rebounding. Oh, exercise. I um, jump on the rebounder. I walk probably about every day, every other day. You mentioned the infrared. Yeah. Yeah, the infrared is really a big part. How long do you do the infrared? Each day, um, about a half hour for uh, for um, 130 minutes. Yeah, about 130 degrees. Degrees, degrees, yeah. not minutes. <laughs> <laughs> for a half hour. Jared, that must have been very, very frightening for you and your mother. Can you tell me a little bit about what it is like to be a 16-year-old looking at fourth-stage cancer? Um. I don't know if you were frightened at all. Yeah, I don't really um, remember a lot of it, actually, because of all the um, drugs they had me on, like morphine and um, the lauded oxycodone, and then on top of all the other chemo drugs, my mind is actually pretty much blurred from July to that November of last year, and then that's when I start remembering things again, so... He said he was going to stop chemo. Uh, when, they, when he said he was going to stop chemo, is the doctors actually explained to him how he was going to die, which we were we were just shocked with. And they told him, Jared, do you know what it's like to uh, be underwater and not come up for air? Have you ever held your breath in a pool and you know know what it's like to come up? And uh, they said it won't be a painless death. So um, he had great strength to make this decision when he turned to us and said that he was done with chemo and he wanted to do try something else. And at that point, I think, Jared, you had started to live. When you made that decision, yeah. held your ground and found that love, that's when you started to live. Yeah. strong, amazing man you are. Thank you. And, your mother. and we have some other family members here. We have your father and your cousin, because you know it takes a village. <laughs> we have a lot more than that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what suggestions would you have for some? Or uh, someone who is battling cancer, who's under 18, and you as a parent, and you as the rest of the family, just chime in for our viewers that, that are going through this with their children. I, I can say that, un unfortunately, and I don't know if you heard of any of Jared's uh, speech, but uh, under 18, there's not really a choice. So yes, we got very we got very lucky. Jared would like to work, and I would like to work, and changing those laws. Somebody at Jared's age is very mature to make that decision. He was well aware of what he was doing, um, and if they do, we were just talking to another family that their six-year-old has to do chemo. You can also do alternative treatments with that. They told us no, don't do that. But that child is the only one that the hair is coming back. That child is the only one that is walking and has the energy. And the parents are asking, what are you doing? So if you were even forced to do conventional medicine, yes, absolutely. You know, this conference, we just learned that cute Kerman is, is an amazing, you know, you can take that with chemo. And if, if, you are, if you have no choice, like Jared was lucky enough to have a choice, but if you don't have a choice, it works together and is more effective. So the chemo is more effective, but it repairs the good cells. So, I mean, that was an amazing, you know, thing for us that we didn't even know. So. We know we talk about that too to people that don't have a choice because of course most kids don't. We were blessed and lucky enough to get out, you know, and, and he had a choice. And it's not only the person dealing with cancer, it's the caregivers. Can you talk about how you're um, I just want to say this has been a very 
learning experience for us. Um, it's all about what you eat, you know, the bottom line, you know. Um, all the chemicals and... Um, Jared's been my hero from the beginning. Um, he's been more like a brother to me than a cousin. Uh, my aunt's been like my mother the whole time. And uh, it was hard for me because I live in Pennsylvania. So I'm all the way on the East Coast. I'm actually a nurse over there. Um, so my aunt was saying she was, uh, she was scared to tell me that they were going to do alternative medicine. But I mean, I've seen it. I've seen what it does to people. And uh, she's right, they tell you not to eat. You know, these things, fruits, they tell you to stay away from, and and um, it's rough, it's hard. It, it Chemo, they, there's a whole bunch of different chemos, and they're spending all this time, you know, combining different chemos and making it more powerful, but they're not spending any time focusing on what it's doing to the patients. And um, so this has been great. It's been great for me to come out and see it. And even being in conventional medicine, I really feel like if your patients are coming to you and saying, you know, I don't want to do this anymore, I wish it would be that they led you in a different direction because really they just try to tell you you're going to die. Um, and that's not good either. You know, I wish that they would really implement, well, if you don't want to do chemo and this is what you're sure of, you can go this route and kind of push them in the right direction, which, you know, unfortunately they won't do in healthcare. This is what I looked like when I uh, first started chemo. And um, if you want to follow me, I'm on Facebook with uh, um, called Kid Against Chemo. And these conventions are amazing because they're bringing like-minded people together. You're learning new things. You're meeting amazing people. The love that's here. Just to look at you, Jared, wow, you, you own it. And when you own it, nobody can tell you to die, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to meet all of you.